Hello, beautiful explorers. How are you today? Welcome if this is your first time and also welcome back if you are part of the beautiful tribe. So hi to everyone and thank you very much for the exchange of the energies. So this is the Mystic Maze and I am ready with three piles for you today to pick a card or a maze as I call it. Regarding the question, what people, what do people secretly admire of you? So it is very important to connect with your intuition and to let flow. So when you feel connected with the, the energies and where card is coming to you much strongly, it means that that's the option for you. It could be one, it could be two. For some people, it could be the three of the piles. So it's really free and up to your energies. So let's start to see. Pile and maze number one. This is your card nine. Choice, understanding consequences. Maze number two. This is your card. Number 18, we have healing, restoring hope. This is for pile and maze number three. We do have transcendence, achieving success for number 10. So you can also take your time and pause the video if you think it's necessary. And whenever you're ready in your comfortable place, you can click in the description box, the timestamps. And by clicking, you will find me at the beginning of your adventure. So I see you in your maze. So hi, pile one. This is your maze for today. If you're ready for your adventure with your curiosity. So this is choice. It's understanding consequences. And it's really about, for me, some kind of emperor vibe that I get in here. A lot of determination for the things that you're making, dear pile one. So I'm feeling like people that do perceive your energies are like in front of a chariot. So a person that really understand actions and also reactions in life. And this is very important in every role. So let's have some oracle cards. Dudu, please, can you move your tail? Baby, come here, okay? <laughs> She's saying hi. And for sure, we do have first at all, this is very interesting, the dog that is looking at a star. And then we have, wow, how peaceful you can be. So pile one, in here I do perceive your beautiful vibe. This is very of tranquility. Everything is bluish. It could be also some kind of green in here and in there. And I'm feeling like with this dreamy car that is, has happened and this arrow as well, I'm feeling like you're very connected with your dreams. I'm feeling like it, at night times you have a special space that you preserve for yourself. And that's the way you communicate best with all your desires, all your wishes. And I'm feeling like people are like, very astonished in front of you, very fascinated by your eyes, the way you, I feel like you could be on the cloud sometimes, but that's, that's just the general vibe that I pick because I see a lot of determination and very, very connected with your desires, your wishes, your dreams that maybe are to come true and you're struggling to do that. It's like dreams and objective for you are very connected and there is a very special space where you show other people that is very innerish space where you have your riches, you have your strengths, you have your links and everything is in a constellation, very connected with all the things that your items, your accessories. Also, I feel like you may have a diary. This is for a message for some of you, you may you know, take notes, also draw things, very um, artistical vibe that I get in here. So I would like to have more details, pile one. What do people admire of your personality secretly, okay? How does one to come out? We have the Ace of Swords. 
I just want one to come out. The Eight of Cups. And then we have the Six of Cups. Many cups, very emotional, and the Eight. And the Eight. Julie's coming to say hi again. Dear Explorer, I'm picking like you're very mental. It's like you are able to take decisions because in the opening and also in here we do have the Ace of Swords. So very mental of communication, also of artists. So it's like a language faculty and skill that you are using right now uh, to reclaim your power, to uh, feel comfortable with yourself. I'm feeling like you can be very cleverish, intelligent, very witty, and also very lively with your words, your puns, your um, jokes, very cleverish, very lively personality with mindset. I feel like you express a lot, uh, your thoughts and ideas. I feel like you are able to have some sort of discernment and you for sure understand the consequences. With this opening card of the age, is like you're having a trip uh, for yourself, in yourself as well. And it's very emotional, but also pragmatical. So it's like you're seeing something growing and you want to have more information about it. And people do perceive like you're recalculating and exploring new territories in, in the self, in your mystical journey. And I feel like you're very nostalgic. You are very childish, yes, in the worst way, but also in the best way possible. By being very innocent, this is a nostalgic card also for innocence, being flirtilicious, being playful with people, life full of emotions. You see two kids that are holding hands and planning what to play together, what adventure to, you know, start together. And I feel like this uh, panorama here, this age is very beautiful because if you perceive it, if you see it, there is a key. So your path artistically, emotionally, is like you are going somewhere else and this action is so fascinating because you are like expanding yourself and people do perceive that you are finding your options I want uh, three last cards. This one, this one, and this one, they just came out. We have the Three of Swords. We do have the Ten of Bastos is um, Wands. And then we have the Six of Swords. of sorts yeah i feel like it's like you are divided between um the energies from the emotional side and on the other side you do have mindset so everything that is told because i'm feeling like you know your way and this dog is very calm by contemplating the star so you know your polar star okay where is it and where uh, is leading you okay I feel that sometimes it's like you are in this state of mind of griefing and people do perceive all the sadness that you have inside. And it's like giving you the, the boost to do something else, to explore inside of you, to be some sort of emotional detective of the self. And I feel like you are moving. So the 10 for me, even though it's very full of efforts and very um, unfinished business is like the 10 for me represents a movement for a liberation to get free for yourself because it's like when you felt obliged to stay in a position with ones and that interrupted your actions and your energies but i'm feeling like in here you're ready for something new and you're coming to a culmination the end they correspond sometimes and then you have something that is going down and I feel like you are moving again the six is for moving away of swords so again swords I get some kind of con conflict that you may have inside this is like going away from something that you already know for something that is best but keeping your innocence with you and I feel like this is what you're trying to balance for 
mindfulness to stay very peaceful so people do secretly perceive all those energies or your attempts and beautiful ways that you are writing you know because you're writing your story pile one dear explorer and i feel like by feeling so connected you will be able to organize all your trips your solo trips and to you know start a new chapter properly and i feel like th that's what they admire of you you never stop you never lose your hope lose your faith you already have keys and it's like you're trying to balance some situation some innerish movements and vibrations to take your own path in the most beautiful way so a lot of determination because you've been passing through a lot and people do perceive your richness of heart of mind of experiences okay and you're doing it to be peaceful because th this is what you desire and i feel like very romantic as well very romantic and creativity is you know just around here so very beautiful reading and very connected with your own dreams very beautiful that's what people do really love and like of you pile one so take your own time to you know select the things and if something is resonating to you know let it in and leave out the rest so thank you very much for staying and i hope that you enjoy it you have my best wishes and i hope to see you very very soon bye hello pile two this is your card the center of your maze so healing restoring hope very peaceful sensation that i get from fantasy world you see very dreamy as well also pile one we'll keep the key in here to have access to the starting point and then we're going to see and develop the thread of the story so let's take our time to understand the card and then see other oracles and if it is resonating with you we have tarots then so this one want to come out this one as well so the back of the deck we have this is for me like the wheel of fortune seasonal seasonal wheel that is coming to i mean it's like when you are a beginner in something at work at some kind of things that you desire to do and you never tried it before and this for me is like the first wheel the first you know complete circle of, on things and is like after that you know you will be beginner no more so this is a very shifting condition for the best something is moving and it's windy so regarding this healing i feel like this sensation of equilibrium so very balancing of your personality that is very you know attractive for people so they do really admire that quality or vibe that you give off even though sometimes i feel like with the wheel of fortune properly it's like an on and off that you give but i would like to see other cards for that we have dreams this is the card of dreams the dream word as well during night time and we do also have fire. Very intriguing. I'm feeling like here we have wind, so swords and fire. It's like in here we do have a process and this process is very animated and intense, full of for sure beautiful intentions, discoveries, chatting, communication. So coming back to your storytelling, to your story when you were a child, and I feel like in here you have the occasion to redo that actions, regather, you know, in front of, around the fire, the fireplace properly also if you have it. And this heat is like giving you extra energies, it's like regenerating for you. You're coming back to some kind of roots, natural element, wood, um, fire, wind, you know. And also, I feel like very childish vibe that I get in here. So I feel like for some of you, you can be very, I mean, I'm not saying the youngest, but I do perceive that some of you are, are youngish for this maze. And it's like, you're trying to balance something in here. I would like to see 
some tarots. I'm feeling like you're a very free spirit. You are very sincere, very authentic personality that you have. And I feel like you are creating your own destiny. I feel like you are creating your own story and writing your book. And you're very conscious of that because you have a special traveling moment. And this is during nighttime. For some of you, this is very specific. We do have the Eight of Wands. We do have the Ace of Swords. And we do have the Nine of Cups. This was from before the Eight of Cups, but yes, we have the Nine. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Very intriguing, very intriguing. You see, we do have Wands, Swords, and two cards of Cups. So none of them are Arcana, so Major Arcana. So I feel like this is very temporary for your description. This is like a depiction of the moment, Pile 2. You are for sure healing, and by healing, I'm feeling like people do perceive that you are cleaning something. So this sword is it can be for sure words, creativity, and also mindset. Um, in here, I'm feeling like for sure starting with our words that you say to yourself, so some sort of communication. Also, because this one is very of communication, and these ones too. So they are, you know, this is the thread, proper thread, and. This is the starting point, but also the final point I'm picking. So the direction is this one. So Ace of Sword is for pragmatical things that are divided from what is best and what is worst for the um, person in here. And I feel like people do perceive that you are determined to clean the energies and to gain that clarity. So this one is for me also for clarity communication when you're able to put all the pieces um, in a certain order and you are not confused, but you own, you, you are, I have a master in that. And I feel like you are doing that very uh, from, this would be innerish part of yourself that is trying to grow and expand like the Ace of Swords, so a beginning, but that's why I told you very youngish energy. I feel like in here also we do have another offer and this offer is the Ace of Cups very delicate very strong at the same times it's like a tea cup or just a mug or with coffee i don't know you you pick it for yourself and this liquid gift is going to bring you many eyes so it's like creativity intuition are coming in communication as well and feelings very emotional expression of the all and Oh, even though they are griefing, they are creating this liquid, but this is for the best. Also is regenerating the plant in here. The sky is the limit. And I feel like with this movement, communication and the nine of cups is like, you're very independent, pile two. I want other cards, other details. We have the four of swords, very contradicting cards, apparently. We do also have the moon. And we do also have the five of swords. Back of the deck, the energy of someone who is blocked. So I feel like we have many, many different energies in here of your personality. I do perceive that you are in movement, but the movement that you have is very inside of you. So inside of your realm, uh, when you're sleeping and you can best connect with yourself, and this healing is a very long process that you're making by coming back to your roots and to the fireplace where the heat can help you out, can embrace you. I feel like you're a very generous personality of yours. And this is like a beautiful beginning by cleaning uh, the mindset. So the words that you say to yourself, your actions, okay? And I'm feeling like also in here, yes, do this, my cat. It's here to bring you some love messages. And also with the cup is like you are expressing right now, but the tears that you have are, are just feeding, you know, watering the, the soil for to, as some kind of growth for this plant. And you're moving to something that is independence of 
emotional from the emotional point of view i feel like sometimes you're resting your mind because you're feeling stuck so there is a period of fears conflicts but they're all internal so we do have those fears right now and i feel like it's perfectly matching in this story because it's like it's something external in internal and you are able to see everything and also people from the outside and this is what making you so mysterious so unpredictable for people and also very romantic because it's the moon you know very romantic evocative as well very creative energies that are coming from the moon but also of some kind of it's not lies it's like fears uh something very entangled here because fears that you are facing are bringing you for sure to conflict that is self-conflict because in this card no one is represented in this you know fighting unless yourself your third eye okay so i'm really feeling like this is you conflicted against yourself and it's like there is a way how to possible in here coming back to your communication for yourself and i'm feeling like people are really perceiving you that from this point of view and this condition you are moving to something is spinning around you so also very karmic event maybe they are very you know heavy for you but you are like cleaning moving away communicating to yourself taking a rest when it is necessary and act very disruptively for sure but for the for your own best to preserve yourself to express yourself and come to your independence you know facing all the fears or some of the fears that you have dear pile two this is very beautiful and delicate pile number two Take only the things that are resonating to you as this was general. So thank you for staying with me. I give you my best wishes for your personality and what people admire of you. So very, it's like in a fairy tale. You live in a fairy tale and it's super romantic as well in the end. That's for sure. Very naturalistic elements. Many, many. So thank you again and I hope to see you in the next adventure. Bye. Pile number three, hello, Maze Explorer. How are you? Are you curious about your adventure? So we have transcendence, a seeing success. I will keep this card in here, but did you see the details? On fire, on fire. Very beautiful. I love dragons. So pile three, I'm feeling like transcendence is a very heavy card and I'm feeling like achieving success is such a big deal is at the end of something but is for a brand new start at the same times so it's very circular is like a spiral very curly situation everything is on fire so we must be or see some kind of very uh, strong actions that this is what i feel for the moment this is wow this is luck so so what do people secretly admire of you pile number three How many curves do you do you see? I do see many. So dear explorer, I'm feeling that everything is I don't know, it's not spinning, it's not twisting, it's growing with curves, you know, very curvy, curvy situations. I feel like people do really and secretly admire of you your skill to deal with complicated or complex situations i feel like you really believe in something that is mysterious and is bigger than you so i feel like mystically your feeling is like there is a higher calling here and it's like you are thinking about the key to enter this door and i feel like in here is like you're trying with this comb to unknot all the knots and that's why you are becoming successful and so potent that's what i perceive this card also is for authenticity this is an apple and also is for temptation so we don't know because it has a hole the hole is full of energies you see very colored and colorful and i'm picking like 
this could be you knowing yourself and by being authentical this could be yes for sure a temptation for adult to attack you because you expose yourself quietly let's see if something more is resonating with your case i uh, remember to you that those are of the tribe so you can apply to your case we do have the magician the king of wands this one no this one is calling and we have the five of pentacles i feel like i'm grabbing both and okay the wheel of fortune i was feeling for today so dear explorer i'm feeling like in here you have you are on fire it's for sure because you do have the king of wands and again we, you have the magician so i'm picking for you that some people are exchanging energies with you this is very beautiful reading so you are not for yourself isolated but i'm feeling like a lot of energies are exchanging your potential and vibration is getting higher and higher i feel like with the six of pentacles is like a financial exchange it could be in here we do have someone that is helping someone else so i don't know if you are that what side are you in but i'm feeling like there is a mutual help in here so someone who is you know with more resources is helping others and this specific other it could be you or not but they do admire if it is you that you are helping other people or if you are the counterpart that you are able to ask for help because it's really necessary sometimes and you're doing it bravely courageously you know standing still fierce of your things full of grace no matter what is happening even though you have in difficult uh, you are in difficult times with the magician i feel like everything is possible and this wanderer that is the king of wands i feel like you are like an illusionist you make things happen it's like your word your communication it's it could be i'm telling you pile number three your wardrobe your wardrobe your accessories your look but you are able to capture the attention of other people and make your magic to put magic in everything so connecting this infinite between the lens you know the water and also the skies or the sky and to bring some mysteries that people do perceive is like you are very eloquent you love to stay in the center of the intention in a very beneficial way for other people because you make things happen and the king of wands as well is a very uh, someone who is really able to wander and to make conquers you know and also to bring ambition determination so successful in life for sure on business especially we do also have this five of pentacles and this wheel of fortune for karmic event when someone is excluded so i don't know i have to dig deeper about it i would like to have other cards for that reasons that's the two of swords The Knave of Cups, so the Page of Cups, represented by a lady. And we do have the Seven of Wands. I want another one. This one. We have the Emperor. And we do also have all oh, two of them. So we do have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. I feel like your range of emotions and personality is very big, is very large, is expanding. I feel like you do believe mysteries. Sometimes you are divided into things because I feel like, yes, you are using all your mindset, but don't forget that the magician is number one, so it's a beginner in life. But I feel like you have a lot of a ton of personality and you are trying to center it, to balance it, to use it with a lot of variety because we have ones we do have cups you know so the page is like in business stuff you can be your personalities on fire so conquering every kind of realm and kingdom and it's like bringing new limits so new panoramas to the company to yourself in your role so it's like very refreshing you know it's very refreshing this king of wands 
and i'm feeling like with this page of cups is like you're trying to handle with your emotions but from that point of view is like you're very you know a beginner for from that side because you are digging deeper in your authenticity or this could be like the devil so some temptations are coming and the way you are dealing them is like in here you're handling keeping uh you know using all your resources and the resources in here is the king the queen of wands and the queen of swords so a lot of action you know very independent queen those two very yes for family but more than that of for work so of enterprise projects so i feel like people do really perceive that you are reaching or you already have your success and they do admire your personality because even though sometimes you felt excluded and I feel like those knots are represented by this exclusion and this abundance in the wheel of fortune. But on the other side is like karmic event coming back to you. So it's like tests that you have to face, you know, and I feel like you're dealing with the seven of ones with a lot of temptations, a lot of obstacles, but it's like you are finding your way out. And this beautiful personality of yours, very masculine, but also feminine, very beautiful. And also the power couple we do have, you know, the king and the queen of wands. But to return to this key in this thread and adventure of your maze pile pay, we do have the seven of wands. So it's like, you see how this lady is moving. She would like to, she's able to, even though it is a very specific condition. And I'm picking like the emperor also. Yes, it's very edgy, very of low. So it's like a ruler is making rules for everyone to respect. So I feel like in here we have very entrepreneurial or also managerial coaching, very people that set rules, mental coaching as well. I don't know what is your role in career, but I feel like very high uh, level of, yes, and we do see many people around you. So I don't know if those characteristics are for you or you may be surrounded by a lot of people that are bound to you because you're leading them in some kind of way, okay? So they do really admire you and your personality, your, your touch, the way you do things with a lot of perseverance, determination, ambition as well, very witty, cleverish, very decided personality when you feel in charge of something. Very karmic, many karmic events are coming to your person on your personal and mystical journey. But I feel like you're facing them and it's like you're finding your way out, balancing perfectly. Also, this is for balancing every skill and gift. And it's like you're making such a wonderful work in here. Okay. I thank you very much for staying with me, beautiful explorer, and I wish you the very best with your adventure and about your personality. I see you soon. Bye.